Hey friends, it's me, back with another Hype Swap Friendism video. Uh, today we are going to be doing L Words, um, Bad Root, which I'm not looking forward to, honestly. <laughs> uh, so, let's begin. Shall we? <laughs> You're ready to meet someone new, but you have no idea where to go. You're kind of hoping you'll just bump into someone, and you do. While you're looking, wh while you're thinking of thinking it, you do. You bump into someone. The troll takes a step back to look at you, eyebrows lifted in surprise, while you stutter apologies. Then you notice the color of the symbol on her shirt. Your blood turns to ice. Given that you what you've picked up about troll society, she's probably. Uh, well within her rights to attack you or at least treat you to some very hurtful insults well hey there little buddy you look kind of lost everything okay fuck I forget what her voice is ah, it's okay I'll figure it out huh that was a lot friendlier than you expected that said this trolls this trolls look is intimidating She's smiling at you, but the leather jacket and undercut make you think she you wouldn't want to fuck with her. They also look pretty dope. Like, maybe this is someone whose name would really be nice in your address book. Look, you know you've been pretty non-discriminating with your friend taste so far. You're grateful for every taste of affection thrown your way, but you can admit you've barked up the friendship tree for some real weirdos. But this time, you really want to be friends with this girl. In fact, it seems like earning her approval might even raise your own opinion of yourself. Or social cash? She's just like, seriously cool. You tell her that you're lost, not that you have anywhere to be. Just seeing where the night goes, huh? <laughs> Been there. I could tell you some stories, a whole man. I don't want to be rude, but you're an alien, right? You confirm that this is uh, one of the solid facts that you know, and you're going to hold on to that with both hands, while they're still your hands and not your grab pods or your gesture appendages or whatever. Neat. You can call me L-Word, by the way. I bet you have all kinds of cool alien stories. <laughs> want to hang with me? I know a place near here to grab a drink if you want. Does this mean, uh, does she mean platonically, or is she asking you out? It's hard to tell. She's so cool and disaffected. If that was the date suggestion, if that was a date suggestion, she's got to kind of be the smoothest motherfucker around. You know, you're kind, of, you're kind of hoping she just wanted to get to know you better. She's beautiful, but it seems like going on a date with her would really be a lot of pressure. Mostly, you just really, really wanting her to like you. She brushes a piece of lint off her jacket, and your desperation for her attention grows. You say yes. Aw, oh, yeah. Alien time. Let's go. Wait. Hmm. Wait? Come on. You can't even just hang out with someone without, uh, without some kind of whole... Nope. Not gonna do that word. <laughs> Are you fated to always be bombarded with branching choices, choosing randomly between fates that almost always seem to end in some kind of violence? There's actually two places we could go. Would you want to try the closer place or the farther place? Fine. Fine. You'll make another choice. And uh, last time, the closer place was the quick bad ending. So we are going for the long bad ending. So I just clicked the farther place. Uh, you tell her you're in no rush and the farther place is fine. She takes off in the same direction she was walking before you bumped her. You follow behind, uh, trying to act like you totally belong there. Next to this genuine troll babe. <laughs> You walk close to, uh, you walk next to cool people all the time. It's practically a hobby. After a couple of blocks, though, she stops short. You narrowly avoid bumping into her again. She fishes her palm husk out of her pocket, and you can see that it's vibrating noisily. She looks at the screen and theatrically rolls her eyes. Ugh. Ugh. 
This is so annoying. I'm sorry, but like, there's this thing I gotta deal with, I guess. I swear to fuck. She just wants an excuse to see me. Like, transparent. It's like transparently obvious. Like, she keeps flirting with all my friends, too. Or just magically showing up in places we used to go together. Honestly, it's kind of pathetic. Like, you're trying so hard to make it seem like you're over me, and it just shows that you aren't. Hello, Mayo. You know what I mean? You may not understand the specifics, but it's clear that she's including you in on some social situation she's dealing with. Wow, that is, uh, that's what you do when you're already friends with someone. You basically just skip to the front of the line. You nod and look sympathetic. You totally get it, you tell her. You have an ex like that too. Who is she even trying to fool? <laughs> right? It's like embarrassing that we even dated. We were totally gonna request uh, combat assignments on the same ship too. <laughs> so dumb. Anyway, sorry, but I gotta go back to my hive. She just keeps bugging me about some shit she left there. I keep telling her- oops, that was my door. I keep telling her I don't even think it's there. But she says she has all of her belongings itemized or something. Shake my head. Such a dork. I'm like the best thing that ever happened to her. You keep nodding vigorously. Your neck is starting to hurt from all the nodding. You tell Elward that she is obviously too good for whoever this girl is. I mean, I know, but I gotta deal with her shit anyway. I'm sorry, it's like literally so dumb, but... Do you mind if we swing by my hive on our way out? It won't take long, she's like terminally punctual. Hello, Mayo, she's already sent me her ETA on Gorgle Maps. This is a real softball. No need, to ang uh, uh, <laughs> no need to agonize over this decision. You tell her you don't mind at all. She starts to head off, but then she stops and look at, looks at you. Her brow furrows. Huh. You know, for an extra alternial, you're kind of cute. <laughs> oh, jeez. You start to feel flustered as she peers at you more closely. You're going to have to make it clear once again that you're only interested in friendship. I'm getting an idea. My ex thinks she's so cool because she's a jade blood and they have like a sacred duty or whatever. She makes a complicated motion with her hand. From the context, you gather that this is a troll version of a jerking off gesture. You file away the implications of that to one, what? Of that one to consider at a later time. But she's probably never met an alien before definitely never dated one <laughs> do you think we could pretend to be a thing like red rom just until she goes away she'll fully shit herself i swear just you know don't fall in love with me kid <laughs> just kidding really don't though your heart is beating at an unusual rate and not even because of fear this time Fake dating? Do trolls do this a lot? There must be some kind of cultural context that makes them turn to, fake, to a fake relationship for security. On one hand, you're an experienced fake dater by now. Elward could check your references. On the other hand, you know that you know how this ends. You know this ends with you falling in love with her. There's, there's literally no fake dating situation that has ever ended differently. The last fake relationship you did agonizingly circled the rim of romance before falling out and in, into your hands for a sick friendship rebound, but it was a close one. You might be at like a quarter away already in love with her. Uh, you might be a quarter of the way in love with her already. She looks like a troll Natalie Dormer. It's definitely too dangerous to say yes to this. And last time we went with the calm fake date, so we're gonna go with the fake date, fake date. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you grasp your little, little, little you grasp her hands, your eyes shining. Yes, you tell her. 
Yes, you will take you will fake a date with her. Uh, you will fake date her. You are ready. You are ready to dive into this thing together, side by side, for as long as she needs, with your whole heart and mind, whatever it takes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's um You were like really ready to go for it. Like about to jump right in. Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't want to lead you on. Oh no, you overdid it. You shrink back, mortified. No, you tell her. <laughs> you weren't gonna fall in love. You weren't even thinking about it. Just thinking about helping her through an awkward situation. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh, you mentioned your ex earlier, right? Is that recent? Like, were you trying to rebound with me or something? Because if it's recent, I mean, I get it. <laughs> Breakups can be hard. <laughs> I mean, mine was fine. Completely mutual. But I get it. Your ex only exists in your imagination. But Elward is giving you an out here. You're going to take it. You nod, trying to look sad. Breakups are ha hard after all. That part isn't a lie. Just a well-known truth of life. You know what? I can blow off my ex for now. I'm gonna take you out. <laughs> take you somewhere special. Where you can forget. Have a little me time, you know? I think you deserve it. Okay, a little hiccup, hiccup here, but maybe you've got, but maybe you've managed to turn this around. You feel bad that she thinks you're newly heartbroken, <laughs> but it's comforting that her reaction is to try and cheer you up rather than pouncing on you for your most at your at pouncing on you at your most vulnerable like some other trolls would do actually she's being really nice maybe this friendship train is the right track after all ooh other trolls <laughs> Elward takes you to what appears to be a coffee shop it has all the trappings of a coffee shop Mugs and grinders, uh, no, bean grinders, fiddly little machines with tubes, tables with people working on husk tops. The smell of, the smell in the air is not coffee though, it's something earthier and a little more spicy. You're gonna guess ground up grubs, just a hunch. <laughs> Here we are. Let's, uh, get something to drink and wait for it to start. What? Wait for what to start? Wait for it to start? You let her choose the drink. She brings you a steaming mug of something. Hot. You sip it cautiously. Not bad at all. No legs floating it or in it or anything. Just so you know, I don't know what your deal is. But this place is kind of girls only. You're an alien, so no one's even going to ask. Including me. But... Just so you know the deal. Don't worry, though. If anything does ask, I'll... If anyone does ask, I'll say you're here with me. Plus, you're cute, so no one's gonna mind. A winky face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you feel your face get hot. Wait, no. You're not fake dating. No fluttery feelings here. Cool. <laughs> what? You... Cool, you tell her. You love this place already. Wait. What is this place? This is... What? Excessive bodily force poetry. Open mic night. All blood colors welcome. Now that she says it, you see a microphone set up on one side of the cafe, and all of blood is sitting nearby with a clipboard writing down names of people who want to perform. Do you, you ever do excessive bodily force poetry? What? You look back at her. She's looking at you with those heavy-lidded and flirtate. She looks at she's looking at you with those heavy-lidded eyes and flirtatious smirk. Last time you let your enthusiasm get the best of you, she pulled back, but then she took you to this cool ladies-only hangout. Saying yes had hasn't led you wrong so far. Probably hasn't led you wrong so far, probably. Unless there's going to be some consequence you haven't gotten to yet. No, it's probably going to be fine. You tell her you've dabbled. You try to shoot her the same kind of coy look she's giving you. Is it flirting? 
who can say? You're riding this wave of plausible deniability and you're never coming down. <laughs> really? I didn't think you'd say yes. That's so cool. <laughs> Dang, you should go sign up. I've never done it myself, but I like to come here and watch. Oh, this is gonna be fucking awful. <laughs> you should totally do it. I don't even know what this is. The poetry? I don't know. <laughs> Until now, Elward had seemed pretty disengaged, but she seems actually excited about this. You gulp. You've never done slam poetry, but how hard can it be? Uh, pretty fucking hard. <laughs> you got this. This guy's got like stupid enthusiasm. <laughs> You go up to the Isle of Blood and put your name down on the list. Then you go back to Elward, giving her what you hope is a look as smooth as a expensive brandy. <laughs> Get ready, you tell her. She laughs like you're being corny instead of smooth, but it's good. It's good natured, so that's okay. You settle down to watch an excessive <laughs> to watch the expressive excessive bodily force poetry. Maybe you can pick up a few tips. Before long, you notice a couple of differences between this and the slow slam poetry you've seen before. First of all, your unfamiliarity with troll culture is causing you to miss a lot of the metaphors. You'd think some of these poems are erotic. People are reacting like they are, but all the body parts sound like someone did magnetic fridge poetry with an intro engineering textbook. It's all tubes and pushers and lovers and sacks. <laughs> you, you watch the people around you try and try to react the same way they do. Second, tro second troll slam poetry does involve actual slamming. <laughs> Several poets, it seems to be the cooler colors of the rainbow and their performance with acts of passionate violence against the nearby chairs, tables, or even members of the audience. Artist, you guessed. Temperamental. Elward doesn't seem surprised. One troll with a dark purple symbol breaks the mic stand in half over her knee. Elward sits up in a little straighter, popping the collar of her jacket a touch higher than just and adjusting her hair. God, I'd die if she looked at me that way, LMAO. I wish I was at that mic stand. Oh, fuck, what happened? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I wish I was at that mic stand. I wish I was that mic stand. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I was that mic stand. <laughs> I've never had a girl that mean. I always go for good girl spades. Thinking I can change them. Like uh, I'll be different. Like it'll be different with me, you know? If our hate is true enough. <laughs> it's a bad habit. Nice trolls don't change. That seems... That's some advice for you, kid. You don't know how to respond to this, so you just nod wisely. If you're being totally honest with yourself, seeing Elward flustered makes you feel a little flustered, too. Not that you're changing your mind, but... About only wanting friendship, but... You wouldn't mind if she looked at you with a little bit more awe and she's giving the aw a little bit more of the awe she's giving the purple blood. Yeah. It's gonna be awful. Finally, it's your turn to perform. You've got into the show. You forgot you you got so into the show you forgot you were actually going to do this. Now walking up to the front, you wish you could forget again. It's cl you clear your throat. Silence, then a flash of inspiration hits. Oh my god. <laughs> you had trouble understanding the troll poems because of the socio-cultural differences, so maybe if you load your piece with references to your own world, they'll just assume it's good? You start pressing... You start listing your body... What? You start listing body parts you have. Knees, spleen, shoulders. You toss a few celebrity names. Steve Jobs. Rita Moreno. Then you put on the most serious poetry voice. <laughs> then you put on your most serious poetry voice you can and say, 
Numa Numa A. <laughs> Another idea hits you with a wet, like a wet fish to the face. Maybe if you end this with some sort of violent gesture like the purple girl did, Elward would like you more. You seek out her face in the audience, looking right into our eyes, and slap yourself in the face as hard as you can. <laughs> and slap yourself in the face as hard as you can. There's a smattering of lackluster claps. No one looks impressed, a few garbled echo around the cafe. You think, you think you may have just bombed. Your budding confidence was hit with a big load of shame, descending like wet concrete. Oof. But when you get back to Elward, she's grinning. Damn, <laughs> that wasn't what I expected at all. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> it was pretty funny though. You must have had some real abnormal sausages to get up there. You, mu <laughs> you must have some real abnormal sausages to get up there and perform like that. Nice job, alien. She gives you a wink and you start to perk up a little. After all, you don't need to be friends with the rest of the people in this cafe. Just this one cool troll girl. And it looks like you're making so your it looks like you're making yourself look dumb has brought you two closer together. Honestly, though, I'm surprised you didn't get... You didn't do a piece about your breakup. Oh, right. You completely forgot about your breakup. Or, rather, your fake-up. Elward leans forward, her hands splayed on the table. Her black claws gleam in the low calf light. You can tell me about it. If you want. Like, I'm over my breakup. But if you want to talk it about yours, it's fine. I know sometimes it's like really on your mind. Just in there, just right in there. Ah, you're starting to feel less great about lying. You fidget uncomfortably in your seat. No, you know what? You're supposed to be making a friend here. Yes, in the past it's been advantageous, so to just go along with whatever people are saying until they like you, but Elward and you are really connecting. You don't want her to just like you because she thinks you're sad. You want it to be real. You take a deep breath and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, dude, you're fucking it up. <laughs> and tell her you don't have a recent ex at all. You tell her you were trying to commiserate. <laughs> ah, the atmosphere immediately shifts. Edward sits back and the warmth goes out of her face entirely. What? <laughs> Really? Oh, uh, that's not really cool. Um, oh shit. You can feel, you can just feel her pulling away. <laughs> she just keeps getting farther and farther. <laughs> you can also see it because she's physically pulling away from you. All signs point at losing this friendship. <laughs> You're so sorry, you tell her. It won't happen again. Um, yeah. Sorry, no offense, but it's not cool to lie about shit like that. It's pretty weird. She's completely detached now, barely even looking at you. It was nice to meet you, but it's probably best if you just go. See you, space moo beast boy. See you, space moo beast boy. Moo beast boy? What? Uh, okay. As much as it hurts, you have to agree. It's probably best to just cut your losses. You try not to let your disappointment show as you walk away. Oof. Game over. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't tell the truth. Uh, anyways, so that was the uh, bad ending for Elward. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please... Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you um, want to see any more of my Hive Swap playthroughs, uh, there will be a link at the end of the video that will lead you to an entire playlist of them. Uh, there's probably about 23 or 
22 videos in that now. So, yeah. Uh, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Yeah.